D disappointing with the first game on Friday, uh, but I, you know we responded well Saturday, and we we di we just did things a little bit better on, on both sides of the floor. Um, you know the rebounding was was much better. Um, you you make a few more shots, but I I, I just think our <clears throat> we were just a lot more engaged on both ends, and it, it just made for a lot better team effort and. Uh, it's been a slight trend for us, um, I think, when, when we either play well one night, we maybe don't play as well the next, or we don't play well one night and we play a lot better the next. And uh, you know, I just think that a the, the, the little bit of lack of consistency uh, is something, you know, any coach, you know, you don't love it. Uh, I, but but uh, it was a good way for us to finish. It was a good win on the road uh, against a team that honestly, has been through some, you know, whether it's COVID struggles or, or some injuries, but, you know, they really, again, changed how they played with, with having two bigs on the floor a lot to a, a smaller lineup uh, where they really allowed more space to work for Pyle. And uh, we, did, we didn't handle that very well Friday. We didn't guard the ball especially well. Um, and I thought we gave Pyle just too many easy, easy touches uh, when maybe we should have made life a little bit harder on him before he got catches. Uh, and then I thought on Saturday we just did a better job of all those things to, to, to kind of get the win. So now it's looking forward to, you know, this week and, and uh, next week of, of the Summit League play. Yeah, you know, it's just funny. You, you, you go, there's probably a million different ways to look at it. The, the timing for us, you know, it, it gives us a good chance to to kind of go back and work on some things that we need to clean up. So I don't, I don't think that's so bad. You, you don't necessarily love having two weeks off in between uh, your last game and your conference tournament, but a lot of it just depends on what you're emphasizing and and the approach you take because you just can't control it. So ideally, I think it's probably not ideal, but there's also there's also some positives that we can take from this uh, and, and utilize this week where we're not necessarily preparing for an opponent. Uh, we're we're doing a lot more self scouting and preparing. You know, get, getting our team better and, and working on some things that that uh, maybe we haven't had the chance or the luxury to do the last few months. So. You know, I, I see it as a positive, uh, but but uh, you know that's kind of how we've got to that's how we got to look at it going into the into this week and into the next. Yeah, no question. Um, and, and, and like I said, we don't know who we're going to play, and I think it could be a, a, a few different teams. You know, there's some interesting games this weekend. Um, it, it, obviously, it looks like we're going to be a six seed or a five seed, and we're going to play Sunday night. And, and like I said, yeah, we'll, we'll know. We'll, we'll probably know Saturday night. I know there's some Sunday games, but I think we'll have a lot better idea, I think, Saturday night after the games on, on at least what, what our seed is going to be. And then we'll obviously know Sunday after the day what uh, who we're probably going to play. So, and then 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 we don't play till the following Sunday. So there's plenty of preparation time. Uh, like I said, I think this week it's it's more about us and and uh, just keeping the focus on us and 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 improving some things that you know holding that edge and keeping an edge to us because you've got to compete uh, and and, you, and you've got to get out there and keep your body. You know you don't want your body feeling too dang good this time of the year. You're you're used to. You're used to kind of fighting through some, some physical ailments right now, and you don't. If your body starts feeling too good, maybe you know, you're not willing to do some of the things you need to do. So we got to keep competing, and that's what we'll try to do. And then whatever happens this weekend, we'll be we'll be ready to start preparing for them Sunday night into Monday. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know. He, he, he's not asking me. I know that. Uh, you know, yeah, and I think, yeah, it's, it's his master's program, and I think there's also talk of even further, ju just because of the, the extra year, I think there's some options from a Ph.D. standpoint. So, uh, yeah, I, you know, he's a tremendous student. And, uh, you know, we, we recruited him, you know, where I had where I was before. And I know engineering was something that was high on his list. And ultimately, that's why he chose South Dakota Mines. Uh, and, uh, you know, with their biomedical program, biomedical engineering program here, that's that was kind of his interest then. Um, so so fortunately for us, it's a program we have here. And, and it's something I think he's he's enjoyed special student and, and really a Tremendous human being. He, he, he just has. He's, he's fit in, as, as all the new guys have, I think, really fit in well with, with, with the other guys. And, and uh, just an upbeat, positive, um, good energy guy that, uh, that obviously is an exceptional student. But, but he just has a lot of other tremendous qualities about him. That, and it's been fun to see his growth and development this year. You know, he's, he's now to the point off the bench for us, he's you know at eight and you know eight and four a game almost, and and uh, has done a great job making free throws for us. But he just throughout this conference season, he's had some really good games, um, and and I'm excited for what's to come for him. I, I just think there's been more and more confidence coming with 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 what we're doing and how he's kind of figuring it out as we're going. And I just think is that. Is that learning curve continues to grow? I think he'll just keep getting better and better. How do, how do the book smarts translate to the basketball court? Is there anything you can do to kind of utilize that brain? Uh, <laughs> well, you know, you know, sometimes, especially that that type, that engineering type, you, you know, they they like things in order a lot. They like to have it planned out, and and sometimes, you know, in the basketball world, and as you're playing live sports, you can't always. Uh, you have to have a little more improv sometimes. And I think that, you know, that's an adjustment. I, I, I think the speed of the game from where he was to where he is, maybe the demands of him defensively from where he was to where he is now. Um, I think all those things, uh, you know, were, were things that he, they always say, the, the more you think, the slower your feet get. And I, and I just, you see him now settling in more. And, and moving with more instincts, especially on the defensive side of the floor, I think that's where the, a lot of the catch-up was for him. And then offensively, just the physicality of it, uh, of, of inside and outside, and, 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 and some new stuff, new stuff where we didn't get a lot of time with these guys this summer at all, with him especially, uh, and, and this fall. So the, so much of what he's learning, he started learning, you know, it, you know, in late September and October as we're trying to start and, and we're throwing him out there and, and expecting a lot from him. And uh, like I said, I just think it's been a continuous growth for him as far as picking everything up. And uh, there's times you see him out there playing and, and you can just tell there's a lot of instincts and feel and he's doing a great job. And, and then there's been times where I think he, he's overthinking and 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 where, where maybe those instincts uh, aren't working as well. But but uh, man, I think he's really I think he's really really kind of hit a groove for us and just doing some tremendous stuff.